What's up, team? Coles Healthy Kicks, that's what's up. Coles and AFL have partnered to get us up off the couch and get us healthy and keep fit. Join us every day after school with some of the biggest names in the AFL and AFLW who are going to give us some handy tips on how we can stay fit and healthy. A little bit later, we're going to head to the Coles kitchen to be joined by AFLW star Shani Layton, who's going to teach us how to get rid of distractions and how to get geared up and ready for the game on the weekend or our weekend's activities. Mondays are all about gearing up for a game. So we're going to cross over to James Podsy Adley, AKA Pods, over at AFL Max, who's going to teach us how to get our bodies nimble after a big weekend of games and activities. Thanks, Bianca. Yes, welcome back to AFL Max. It's Monday and today is all about mobility and flexibility. Now, remember this week, five different sessions, mobility and flexibility today. I'll take you through that in a second. Tomorrow is about strength, Wednesday is about cardio, Thursday is about balance and footwork, and then Friday, not far away, is about fun. I've got something really special for you guys this week. But let's get on with today. Before we get started though, I just want to explain what you need today. Now you're going to need an exercise mat or a towel, and preferably, let's put it at one end of the room, and I'll explain that in a second. Get your water bottle handy, good pair of runners, and some space, pretty simple. We're gonna do a stretch, then we're gonna jog three laps of the room. And if you haven't got space to jog, guess what? You can just jog on the spot. So however long that I jog for, that's how long you jog for. Rightio, first thing, three laps of the room, up and back, then we're gonna do a quad stretch. Let's go, let's get jogging. All right, that's, that's one. If you haven't got room, just jog on the spot. I'll tell you the reason why we're going to jog first before we stretch. And three, rightio. Back on your mat, we're going to do a quad stretch first. So keep balance, we're going to do some balance work on Thursday this week. But just pull that heel right towards your buttock or your bottom. The reason why we're doing the jogging and getting moving is it gets the muscles warm. And when the muscles are warm, you can actually stretch a little bit further. Okay, so you'll find during this session, It'll go for about 15 to 20 minutes. You'll get warmer and you'll be able to stretch more. Other leg if you haven't changed already. We'll only stretch for about 30 seconds and then we'll jog for 30 seconds. All right. Next laps, three laps. Three laps of your room. I've got three laps of the studio at AFL Max. That's one. Whew. Keep breathing. That's two. Keep moving. We're here to get you fitter, here to get you stronger. That's three. And we're here to get you more flexible, aren't we, as well? All right, next stretch is, I wanna do a hip flexor stretch. Now, hip flexors are one of the most important muscles we have in our body. So basically, on one knee, foot back out, other foot out in front of you, and I just want you to lean forward nice and gently. You should be feeling a stretch right through the front here, basically. Okay, so just lean forward, push those hips forward, just hold that there, hold it there for about 10 to 15 seconds. Now, the hip flexor is one of the most powerful muscles we've got and they actually help you drive your knee up. So think about those big pack marks that you see a Tom Hawkins or a Jeremy Howe take or a Taylor Harris take. Those guys really drive their hip flexors up and get their knees up. Really important muscle to make sure it's flexible. All right, how's that feeling? I was a little bit sore after last week. It was a big week last week, so today's session is pretty handy. I hope you've all had a good weekend. Rightio, let's go, three laps again. You haven't got room, just jog on the spot. Oh, that's one. Three laps. That's two. Now, one more lap. All right. How are you guys up there today? Good? Nice work. Three, all right. We're gonna do a hamstring stretch next. So you can do this any way you want. You can do it standing up. I'm gonna do it kneeling down. So one knee on the ground, other leg out in front of you. You should feel this stretch back of your legs here, okay? Back of your knee, almost a little bit to your calves. And the more you lean forward, the more you should feel a stretch. So just go to a stretch that you're really comfortable going to. Don't need to push it. And once you get to that spot, let's just hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. Flexibility in the hamstrings allows you to drive that footy as far as you can when you kick it. Other side, chain sides. All right, how many quads are there? That's the next question I've got for you. Uh, let's go, three laps on the jog. Let's do it together as a team. 
Best team in Australia, we are. Best team in Australia. Whew. All right, that's two. Jog back, one more lap. All right, and three. We've got four quad muscles, by the way. That's why they're called quads. All right, we're gonna do a calf stretch now. So just find a spot in your mat again and just reach down out in front. And the idea here is just do one lead at a time. So I might just uh, do this with my back to the camera so you guys can see. And what we wanna do is just focus in on that stretch, stretching that calf muscle back here. All right, so same deal. Try and keep your heel on the ground when you're doing it. Nice, easy stretch. Let's just hold it for 10 to 15 seconds before we change sides. All right, other side. Oh yeah, my calf muscles are a little bit tight from last Friday's fun session. Everyone enjoyed Pods Poker last week? I did. All right, nice work. All right, here we go. Ready for another three laps? Let's do it. We're into it. Three laps. Three laps to max. You guys are doing three laps to your lounge room, three laps to your garage, maybe even three laps to your backyard. Who knows what you're doing? But send some photos in. We want to see it. And three. All right, next stretch is a glute stretch. All right, so sitting on your mat, uh, one leg out straight, let's put your left leg out straight. Create almost a figure four with your right leg over the top. And all we're gonna do is pull our knee into our chest. You should be feeling this stretch basically in your butt, okay? In your glutes. So pull it in, hold it in there, let's hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. As I said at the start of this, AFL players do a lot of stretching. When I played, which is probably before you guys were born, not that long ago, I stretched every day. I think it's really important for injury prevention. And we talk about flexibility and the importance of being able to um, be really mobile when you play footy or play sport. Um, stretching is super important for that. So if you guys get a chance to stretch before or after school, make sure you do it. Don't just wait for flexibility Mondays. Cut more, try and hug it right in, that knee right into your chest. All right, let's do it. Another three laps. I'm warmed up, my muscles are warmed up. Here we go. I'm gonna get more flexible by the end of this session for sure. All right, all right, okay. Here we go, one more lap, one more lap, one more lap. Good, nice, three laps of AFL max. We're gonna do a bit of a groin stretch now. So what we're gonna do here is almost squat down like you're a frog, okay? And put your hands inside your uh, legs and then just try and push out, push out your knees with your elbows. And you should feel this stretch in your groins. Hold that stretch 10 to 15 seconds. That feels pretty good. Tight groins and all those lunges and side lunges we did last week. Great work. All right. Who's up for three laps? Me? I tell you what, I'm gonna do my three laps backwards now. How's that? Backwards three laps. Don't worry, the camera's not in reverse. Whoa, watch out for the mat. I don't wanna fall over, although it would make pretty funny TV if I did fall over. And backwards, finish. All right, next stretch is an upper body stretch. We're gonna stretch the shoulders out. All right, we're gonna get loose up here. So just pulling that arm right across and just hold it there for 10 to 15 seconds. You should be feeling it right up across your shoulders here. All right, pull that elbow right towards the other shoulder. It's starting to get warm now, which is nice. All right, other side. Let's go, hold it, 10 to 15 seconds. Oh, that feels so good. That relieves all those push-ups we did last week. I love Mondays. Do you guys love Mondays? Big week ahead of it this week. Oh, I've got some special sessions for you guys in particular tomorrow in our strength session. Next, let's go. Three laps. Let's get the blood flowing. Let's get those muscles warmed up. Let's get ready for the week. Cool. Here we are. We're ready to get maxed out this week. One more lap. Keep jogging on the spot if you don't have room. Good job. All right, back to your mat. Uh, you can do this stretch standing up or on your mat. It's a tricep stretch. So all we're doing, arm above your head, bend your elbow and just pull it back. So you should be feeling this stretch right through your triceps. Oh, that's good. And if you'd like to, just lean to one side as well. 
the side that you're not stretching, it actually gives you more of a stretch. Good. Keep breathing. All right, I'll do the talking. You guys do the breathing. How's that? Are you sick of my voice after the first week? <laughs> I'm sick of my own voice. Oh, it's a good stretch. Three laps. I might go side to side now. Who wants to do some side to side laps? Let's do it. Side to side laps. Nice and easy. All right, three laps. One. Good. Two. Good work. And three. Good. We're going to get stretched to the upper back. So um, we did some bent over rows last week, or bent over flies last week. And we really worked those muscles back here. I want to give them a nice big stretch. So what you do is interlock your fingers, right? Flick your arms back around so your palms are out. So palms facing the screen. And all I want you to do is just almost lean forward, just like that. So you're getting a stretch right in between your shoulder blades. So just push forward. Good. Hold that 10 to 15 seconds. Really loosen up that back. You guys spend a lot of time on screens and computers and doing homework. Uh, it's a nice stretch to do to loosen up your back. Uh, all right. Three laps. I might skip these laps. Who wants to skip? Let's go. Let's skip the laps now. Ooh, yeah. Skip. That's one. If you haven't got room, skip on the spot. Good. I'd love for you guys this week to send some photos and some vision and show me your setup. Show me where you're training. Show me what you're doing. Are you at home? We got some photos last week of a football club, a whole team joining in. Now, that was fantastic. They did our strength session before they went out and trained. Uh, fantastic. Love those photos. Keep sending them in. Next one is some high pulls. All right? So uh, all it is is pull your knee up to your chest, other side. Good. Let's do five each side here. Oh, that's good. Brothers and sisters training together. Some good photos there. People getting their dogs involved, mums and dads. It's only week one. Fantastic. Good work. All right. Let's jog. Jog it out. Three laps. Here we go. Mobility Mondays. Getting ready for the rest of the week. Recovering from the weekend. Two. One more lap. And three. Let's just loosen those hammies up again. A bit more dynamic. So let's just swing the leg through. All right. Nice and easy. Let's just kick that leg up. Get your knee up. You can practice your kicking here. We've got some goal kicking tomorrow, by the way. And how are we going to do goal kicking in, this, in an enclosed environment? Well, I'll show you. Tune in tomorrow. Other side, five on the other side. Five on the right for me. Good. Nice and dynamic. All right. Flexible kids are fit kids. Let's go. Jog, three laps. And one, two, keep breathing. Get nice and loose. Three, and that's three now. Pod's lost count. Classic. Let's just do some back, some back mobility. So find a spot on your mat. All right, we're nearly there, we're nearly finished. You guys are gonna head over to the Coles kitchen in a little while. But let's just create a crucifix with our hands. Get your knees up, and then we're just doing some side to side. The idea here is, let's try and keep your shoulders on the ground, okay? And just keep that back nice and mobile, rotating from side to side. No need to pause, nice and dynamic. Keep rolling. All right, two more, one, and two. Back to the middle, let's do it. Three laps. One. Here we go. Here's two. All right, last one. And three. Last stretch or last piece of mobility I want to do is the scorpions. We talked about this last week. They're a little bit scary, but from a stretching perspective, they're fantastic for your core 
and your lower back, okay? So find your mat. It's the last stretch we're doing. Everyone stay with me. Um, lie flat down, arms out in the crucifix. And what we're trying to do here is opposite foot to opposite hand. Like that. One. Back the other way. Two. Three. Oh, it's a good stretch. Nice and warm now too, so you can probably get a bit further. Oh, just do a couple of these on the floor. You probably can't screen right now because you're watching the floor, but do the best you can to get that foot right towards your hand. One more. Oh, yes. And as you're coming up, I'll do this from the front so you can see. It just gives your abs a bit of a stretch as well while we're down here. So all we're doing is pushing up, keep those hips on the ground, oh, and feel a stretch in your stomach, in those belly muscles. Back down, and then back up again. Oh yeah, feels great. Team, thanks for joining me at week two, Monday. Today was our easy session for the week. Remember, tomorrow is about strength. I'm looking forward to seeing you. I'm gonna throw you guys over the Coles kitchen. Thanks for joining, see you tomorrow. Hi team, welcome back to the Coles kitchen. My name's Deanna, and I'm joined by Andrea, and also Shani Layton today. Andrea and I work as health and wellbeing managers here at Coles and we help our Coles team members to live healthier and happier lives. Throughout these segments, we're going to be talking about how to prepare yourself for a game mentally and how to look after your mental health and wellbeing. Welcome, Shani. Thank you. It's so good that you're here with us today. Why is it so important to be mentally prepared for a game? First of all, thank you so much for having me and I'm so excited to talk about this today because it is so important. I can be the most physically prepared that I could possibly be by getting into the gym and lifting weights, by doing all of my skills session. However, if I'm not mentally prepared, then I still might have a bad game. So it's so important that we mentally prepare up top as well as being physically prepared as well. So what about being organized? What do you do to make sure that you've got everything you need for game day? Oh my gosh, such a great question because I'm not organised, I'm messy, <laughs> but because I know that I'm unorganised, I have to be ultra, ultra organised, which means if I get up in the morning, I'm not going to know where my things are because yeah, yeah. they're all over my room. Mm. And so I need to be able to pack them the night before. So when we talk about mental preparation, if I didn't do that, then I'll rock up to the game. Oh my gosh, I'm running late. Yep. Where's my tape? Where's my uniform? I don't know where it is. And then I go out onto the court and I'm stressed. I don't yes. know what to do. Yes. So for me, I'm like, okay, I need to remove that from happening. So where's my socks? They're in the bag yes. the night before. I've got my snacks yes. for the game as well. And I've got it all in my bag ready to go. So when I wake up in the morning, it's there, yep. it's yep. ready to go, mm -hmm. I'm not stressed, I can relax, eat my breakfast, grab my bag and walk out the door. Awesome, Fantastic. feeling in the zone. In the zone, I'm ready to go, I'm in control and I feel like if I'm in control the morning of the game, then I know that I'm going to be in control during the game yeah. as well. What about on the actual game? So, you know, you, you've got to the game, how do you keep yourself in that zone? So you've prepared yourself really well the night before, you've got up, you've got everything you need, but how do you stay in that zone and avoid all those distractions? So many distractions, and I think it's so easy to get caught up in them as well. So it's good to remember that when you get nervous, big breath and keep yourself in the moment. So I love doing meditation, ladies, and I do this away from the court because then when I get onto the court or the football field, it just comes more naturally to me and it brings you back to the moment so that you're not getting distracted about what's going on. Do you want to do something with me? Do you want yes, to do something with yes, me at home? Yes, okay, yes. great, let's sit down. We love meditation. Okay, cool. So we're going to put our hands on our bellies. And now I want you to breathe in as deep as you can. So on three, one, two, three. And can you feel your belly fill up or do you feel your chest fill up? My belly. Your belly? Yeah, my chest as well. Okay, so this is a really good example. If you're feeling your chest fill up, that means we need to be breathing deeper. Right. Down okay. here. Because if we breathe into our chest, that's when we can get a bit anxious and right. it can feel tight. So breathing into our hands, I want you to imagine you're breathing right out into the sides of your belly. So we'll go again and really feel that belly expand. Three, two, one. Big bellies and out. 
Feels good. Feels mm. great, doesn't it? Yeah. So that will automatically relax you if you're getting a bit nervous out on the mm. field. So for me, it's really important that I'm breathing into my belly. Notice where you're breathing into, and that will once again bring you into that present space. Yes. Now we're going into the visualization side. Yeah. So if you're breathing nice and deep and thinking about how well you want to play today, that is great visualization. So we can shut our eyes now. So you're sort of picturing it in your mind. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, okay. we're picturing how we want to play in our minds. So closing our eyes down and we're going to have a really good think about how does it feel when you're having a great game? If you're a netballer, you've just taken an intercept or you've shot that winning goal. Imagine mm. that feeling. Mm. And if you're a footballer, imagine taking that great mark and kicking straight through the goals. Mm. All of your teammates are around you. How good does that feel? Yes. Whatever makes you feel good. And do you know what? So you use that before the game to feel good, but I tap into that during a game yep. as well. So there's some really great techniques that you can use when you're feeling nervous get yourself into a good space and feeling confident because it's all about how you feel out there on the field. And so we've spoken obviously about visualisation, deep breathing, music. What about things like positive affirmation or positive quotes that you might like to write on your hand so you're ready for the game? Yes, okay, so. Love this. So there's different kind of positive affirmations that you can use. You can write ones on your mirror, like you're awesome, yeah. you're gonna have a great day today. I've got my general positive things at home, on my mirror, on post-it notes around the house. Yeah. But then for game day, I used to write on my netball shoes, eyes up. So anytime I look down, wow, love wow. That. I used to look up straight away. So there's lots of little cues you can give yourself, little things like that, absolutely, can get you back into that moment and out of those doubts that you might have in your head. We all have doubts in our heads. Yeah. Mm. The best athletes, the best business people, yes. everyone yeah. has doubts and that's okay, but we just don't listen to them mm -hmm. and we listen to the positives that we put in there instead. And I think the other thing you talked about is connecting with your team, connecting with those around you. It's so important to use those social connections and the people around you to help you through. So when you've got those nerves, actually talking to, to someone about them or letting your mum and dad know that sometimes you might be getting a little bit nervous, they can also help you and give you sort of positive reinforcement or positive ideas and tips as well and even look out for you as well and some of your teammates. Absolutely. And I think it's so good to know, we've chatted about doubts, that we all have them. We all have nerves too. And nerves are a really yeah. great thing. Mm -hmm. So if you feel butterflies in your tummy, that means that you're getting a bit of an adrenaline kick yeah. and you're going to have more energy for the game. So it's about flipping. Don't think, oh, I'm really nervous, yeah, this yeah. is bad. Yeah. It's a nervous, yeah. actually, how exciting. I'm nervous for the game. That means that it means something to me yeah, yeah. and I'm going to play well today. Yeah. So change what that feeling mm -hmm. means to you. Well, we've talked about a lot today. I really feel like we've got a whole heap of tricks and tips and, and strategies in our sports bag. And remember, it's all practice and yeah. we just continue to get better at it. So now that we've chatted about it all, it's time for you to give it a go. So I want you to write down some positive affirmations Click on the link below and send them in to us because we want to see what you're doing to get mentally prepared for the game. Thanks, Shani. Thanks, Andrea. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Guys. Thank see you. you guys. Bye. Last week, we asked you to get creative in the kitchen and make up your own recipes. It's time to check it out. Roll the pics. You won yourself a Coles Healthy Kicks Pack to help you reach your healthy goals. Make sure that you send in your picks after each ep to have your chance to win one of the packs. Now, it's time for a quiz. to meet you all back here after school tomorrow so we can sweat it out. I feel really grateful to be a part of this team. Go us. Time for a virtual high five.